It's a global belief that no meaningful development can take place in the absence of peace. Though peace is a relative term that could defy exactitude of definition, it is, however, used to refer to every human society where people live in a state of harmony and in an atmosphere that can promote the transaction of lawful private and public business. The need to achieve societal harmony has propelled governments at all levels to devote substantial parts of their annual budgets to issues bordering on maintenance of peace and security in their localities. The need to step up such strategic investment in security has become more important as human society is now replete with sundry violence, ethnic skirmishes, as well as fratricidal and international wars. All of these with the multiplier effects of hostage taking, kidnapping for ransom, armed robbery, political assassinations and several others have created the need for governments to pursue harmony in the society. Security as a whole generally is taken very seriously by this administration. Issues of kidnappings, of armed robbery, have reduced considerably. In Delta State, South-South Nigeria, the burning desire to promote peaceful coexistence and promote healthy competition among the people propelled the Governor Arthur Ifanyakoa led government to initiate policies and programs strictly targeted at creating tranquility in the state. First, we engaged the traditional rulers, we engaged the religious class. We began to engage the youths. So you need to be able to restructure the mind of some persons who were former agitators and then get them to be the persons that we now go back to talk to their fellow former agitators. And it's paid off very well. And then luckily my deputy governor is also from within these creeks where we had all these agitations. So we also created a stakeholders committee that was going to go out purely uh, driving advocacy. Governor Kowa's first step towards achieving a peaceful delta was the adoption of both conventional and unconventional means. He deployed the equitable distribution of projects and positions as a potent tool to galvanize the cooperation of all class of people and the diverse ethnic groups in the state. We can do it together. You just have to be able to provide peace for us to have development. And it's only when there is development and there is peace that you have more investment and more people can get engaged. And with time, we began to realize that people started buying into our program because it was consistent. And uh, where we are today, we're likely very happy with what we're seeing. We're likely very happy with the cooperation from the youth, for which I'm very thankful to them. Mindful of the multi-ethnic complexities of Delta State, Governor Ifanyo Koa, on the 5th of August 2015, and in tandem with his meaningful peace-building platforms aimed at political and social harmony mantra, inaugurated the Delta State Advisory and Peace-Building Council with a mandate to study the causes of conflict among the various communities in the state and advise on appropriate peace-building mechanisms that could engender harmonious coexistence among the diverse people of the state. The governor is such a committed person. He knows the role of peace in progress and in development. The advisory council have dealt with a number of intercommunal and intra-communal peace processes. Without peace, there can be no development. Without peace, there can be no governance. Time was the essence, and Delta State was in dire need of peace to make room for development. Hence, at the early months of the administration, a one-day stakeholder summit on destruction of oil and gas facilities was organized. The forum afforded representatives of oil-bearing communities to speak their minds and highlight the sources of their anger 
and possible remedy for the situation. The Asian nations are ready to work with stakeholders, including the federal and state governments, to achieve peace. But in order to do that, government must demonstrate sincerity. The federal government must show to the Niger Delta people, especially the youth, they are started as it is sincere in trying to resolve the problems affecting the region. Our house is on fire. And I believe what we are here for principally is how to, first of all, put out the fire and then secondly, look at the damage the fire has caused and see how far we can pick up the pieces and move forward. Another strategic approach adopted by Governor Arthur Ifanyokoa to engender harmonious and peaceful community life in Delta is the regular interface with the traditional institution. Beyond identifying with programs and projects initiated by the Royal Fathers, Governor Fanyokoa has constantly ensured that Royal Fathers are carried along in all government organized events. The Christian Association of Nigeria can have contributed to a peaceful delta through preaching in the churches and admonishment of subjects in their domains. Khan has contributed spiritually in prayers, contributed by preaching peace, repentance, and good virtues to the people of God in the churches and outside of the churches. Khan has also engaged various groups to ensure that we live a peaceful life. The traditional rulers in Delta State as a whole will have to complement his efforts to make sure Delta State is peaceful and friendly to all investors to come here to invest. Holistic peace building moves in Delta will be incomplete without a peep into the Fulani herdsmen and farmers clashes in the state. This was a menace that slowed down developments in the agricultural subsector, including food production for local consumption and raw materials for industrial use. As a way to forge harmonious relationship between the herders and host communities, the state government appointed a non-Deltan from the Arewa community to the position of special assistant to the governor. Through this office, contacts are made with the leaders of the herdsmen community and meetings are held to discuss and resolve issues of mutual concern. This is without prejudice to other general security meetings held with the herders from time to time. Through the effort and the support of the present uh, governor, in Delta State, I can confidently tell you that we we'll have 18 local governments that have fresh areas on this Flanay matter. And these 18 local government, we've taken our time to visit them, we've taken our time to relate with the Flanis who are living there. In the various local government, we have our representative. In terms of crisis, they communicate to me, they will have to go down and try to manage the situation. By his grace, you can see there is peace in Delta State. Before the resolution of the Fulani herdsmen and farmers crisis in the state, it was unsafe for most people to attempt going to their farms. But today, beneficiaries of Yaga program have farms like agro and fish farms in far-flung and remote locations. They are able to do their business without any fear of harassment or even being killed. Testimonies of their thriving enterprise abound. Before now, there have been chaos in data states, different things, especially here in Worry. I can see the Okowa has done a great change in our life. It has given us the opportunity to open our shop without any fear. There is no one disturbing you. Don't open your shop or come and pay me so so amount. The kidnapping issue has really gone down. And very seriously, in the peace issue, I was so surprised that I even did some uh, little tiling work and nobody came. My neighbor did a roofing work and nobody came. So peace has really returned to Delta State. I thank the governor very much for that. With the state beginning to reap dividends of its peace moves with angry voices down, dignity of communities restored, and rights of individuals respected, and peaceful coexistence between neighboring communities now the norm, 
rather than the exception. The government of Delta State and her good people began to experience changes in her economic fortunes. A good example is the rise in crude oil production, shoring up the finances of the state. The peace we are enjoying has been so much so that today, from our fourth position, prior to coming into office in terms of production of oil, now we have come up to number one. The presence of development projects has been very key. And the fact that people are being appointed from different places into the government. And you know that in all the worlds, it's empowering people to have a productive living. These are things that have ensured that we have peace in Delta State. Also, the success stories recorded in the health subsector cannot be ignored. The Delta State's contributory health scheme, with over 300,000 enrollees and counting, have become clear manifestation of the essence of peace and security. Smart Delta. The education subsector, especially in the basic and secondary school levels, witnessed an upsurge in enrollment figures, especially in the technical colleges, that parents and guardians have confidence to let their children and wards go to school, even in distant locations. When the state is at peace, you see that they'll be progressing. Everything will be going on smoothly. Students that are going to school, they'll not be afraid of kidnappers, that maybe people will come to their school and come and pack them. When there is peace, everyone goes about their personal business. The government itself do not spend money on trying to curb violence. We used to hear kidnaps and other things. But today, it's no longer like that. Everyone is happy with the system. In the formal grammar schools, infrastructures began by the last administration are being completed by the Okoa-led administration. In time past, this may not have been possible as jobless youths in such communities will harass contractors demanding for unmentionable levies to allow them work. But now, these schools such as Government Secondary School, Ugeli, and Moral Grammar School in Ole, Ugbemudien Model School in Abo, Model Secondary School in Asaba, and many others are standing to the testimony of a peaceful Delta. The governments in Delta states have done enough for us to have peace and security. If I'm coming to school, I don't have the fear of people that are coming to school and kidnap me or use me for ritual. I feel more safer, especially with the new police they put by at school junction here. The governor has done more than enough to ensure the peace and security in Delta State. I don't feel scared coming to school by myself. My parents as well, they are much enthusiastic about it. The story is the same in the informal school sector where vocational centers are springing up in different locations all over towns in the three senatorial districts. Governor Koa has tried very well. At least when we are coming for the skill acquisition centers to come and learn our skills, we are safe. There's nothing like harassment or anybody stopping you to collect your phone. And on major roads, you see police checkpoints at every interval. He has actually put in on adequate measures to ensure our safety. I'm grateful to Okoa and his team. Welcome to Delta, my Delta, my Delta, ah. welcome to Delta, ah. my Delta, my Delta. Come live in Delta, come invest in Delta, come explore the potentials of our state. You better run, run, come, come to Delta State, come and see the good things where Okoa is, they do you better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is. One of the ways the Delta State government has engendered peace in the state is via the town hall meetings where the governor goes to meet the people and listens to their challenges firsthand. The people feel honored and respected by his presence in their homestead as they discuss their challenges and tell him what they want. An agreement is reached and the problems solved. This method is a soothing balm to any aggrieved heart. I want the government to put a solution so that those who are already caught is, will find a way to renounce or the people that are checking them to carefully understand that they have to do a good work to protect the communities that they are serving. 
We have seen how much you have done for the state and what you promised to do. As, as clergymen, we are to pray for you to see that you and the government of Delta State succeed in all the projects you intend to do. Deltas are peaceful and we know how to request for our rights. We are intelligent enough to make contributions and I believe that your contributions will help to enrich the governance process in this state. It is a truism that oil-bearing communities in Delta can be volatile and need special care to keep the lid on their volatility. These communities are at the epicenter of Delta State's economic prosperity. Delta State Oil Producing Areas Development Commission, Desopadek, is a creation of law. When Governor Koa came into office, he sent an executive bill to the Delta State House of Assembly with the aim of rejigging and repositioning the commission for effectiveness. With the presence of um, uh, Desopadek, who now, you know, I mean, well managed and um, uh, handling issues that have to do with the youth empowerment scheme. You know, these people that are uh, either to be involved in uh, pipeline vitalization are now responsibly engaged with the super deck and that mistake that take them away from the streets and take uh, keep them away from the from the creeks. Mayuku further emphasized that direct engagement with the people by the governor has given rise to a peaceful delta with dividends of development even in the river Rhine. Today we have roads in the creeks. You know, it's something that has never been done before. You know, we find it difficult to do roads in, our, in the river Rhine area. Go to Brutu, you see a well-constructed road. Go to Okrenkoko, you see a road being constructed everywhere. They completed roads in the Proza. With all these things, it, you give that sense of belonging to the people that produce the oil. The strongest weapon the administration deployed to tackle insecurity and promote peace is the multiple aggressive skill development and empowerment program. Through the Delta State Job and Wealth Creation Office, microcredit, and many agricultural incentives, the administration has created thousands of direct and indirect jobs. I am so happy and I want to say thank you to Dr. Ifanyi Okowa for this great opportunity that have changed my life for good. Before, before we go borrow money for our outside the church, the old money, when we tell the money go big way way. But the one way you can't give us, someone will tell the church, now we loan, now up work. Our heart not they shake us. We no more say we they pay money. Another strategy the Okoa-led administration has deployed to ensure a peaceful delta is equitable distribution of projects in the three senatorial districts. The principle of citing projects in far-flung coastal communities has helped to spread a deep sense of belonging to the different ethnic nationalities. In the Rivera areas, today uh, we have um, peace in those areas just because of the program and the uh, Project that we are doing there. One of the many benefits of a peaceful delta is investor confidence, giving rise to influx of businesses into the state. This can be buttressed via the catholicity of MOUs signed between the government and private business concerns. Some ready examples are the establishment of Northwest Petroleum, Rain Oil Mega Station. Northworthy oil palm plantation at Akukwibu and the establishment of Asaba Mall, popularly called ShopRite. Delta has been investment friendly. We've had support from the government in terms of giving us the necessary approvals in terms of getting the right location. So, and then of course in terms of um, uh, peace in the environment. So we found the Delta uh, quite interesting to invest. The only thing that any reasonable government will do to attract foreign developers is security. I believe the governor has done so much in terms of security. The state is very peaceful in terms of security and that is why you can see most investors are coming in. It is also noteworthy 
that the peaceful environment has encouraged Nollywood practitioners to have a solid base in Delta to shoot movies and engage in other promotional media events that have helped shore up the image of the state. <laughs> Government don't give us peace for Delta State. That is why actors, yes, producers, directors, marketers, all of us we don't bring Nollywood from Asaba. And I'm sure you go to The government will go out to go over governance of the state. And we didn't see changes. Changes on the road. Changes on the environment. Structural changes. When you look at the stadium, it looks like somewhere in Manchester. The primary uh, assignment of any given government is to create lives and properties, maintaining law and order. That's what we've been doing here. No Omoyele, no street boy will come to you and you up, up. break your camera and say, Leave your don't shoot. So you can shoot anywhere. Security is guaranteed. The Akoa-led administration has revived primary and secondary school sports competitions and made the games to arrest the attention of the youths who often seek avenues to discharge their energies. This has helped to promote both peace and unity of the people. We're trying to redevelop and rediscover school sports and the only way to do it is to make sure that you start when they're pretty young. I've been training hard towards this competition. I also give credit to God. God has been the secret to our success. I achieved so much from this tournament. Furthermore, the newfound peace in Delta has given verve to nightlife in cities and towns in the state. Most of the shopping centers and night spots are experiencing a boom in business as inhabitants of the cities are confident they don't have to be afraid of their shadows at night. Within here in town, it's peaceful, it's, um, the environment is serene and it's a place I'd like to hang out with my family any time of the day. I would like other states to emulate from Delta states to bring more peaceful and calm environment. Countries and cities are given hosting rights of major sports meets and other high-profile events to states and cities based on availability of appropriate facilities, but even more so for safe and secure environments that could guarantee peace and security for participants, officials and spectators alike. A combination of these factors was responsible for awarding hosting rights of the Confederation of African Athletics CAA African Senior Athletics Championship to Delta State. When there was a student built, how many tournaments have we had in short space of time? That showed that we have peace and we have development and we have a man who brings in that development. You know, thinking out of the box, that's what it is. The governor has done a great thing in uh, preventing so many bad things from happening in the state. That is why they are bringing so many competitions here. Because here is safe, Delta State is safe now. Very safe and secure. Delta State is in the heart of the Niger Delta and thus one of the states that lay the golden eggs, crude oil on which Nigeria's economy survives. On account of the age-long inequity of the Nigerian state to deploy the resources in a manner beneficial to the people, youths in the region and indeed Delta State took to the creeks and vandalized critical oil facilities to press home their demands for a fairer deal. To stem the tide, the government inaugurated the Advocacy Committee headed by the state Deputy Governor, Dickin Kingsley Burutu Otuaro, to mediate and bring peace to one's troubled creeks. We believe very strongly that we need to engage in people that only dialogue can bring about sustainable peace and security in this region. And uh, that's what we're doing and that's uh, what we're achieving. Sequel to this arrangement, the state government from time to time supports the security agencies with hardwares and other logistic materials to combat crime and bring about peace in the state. This is one of uh, the strategies the Inspector General of Police believes in, uh, that is community partnership.
to partner with government, to partner with non-governmental organizations, to partner with traditional rulers and the whole community. Uh, because the belief is that uh, the police cannot do it alone. Deltans say under the leadership of Governor Kowa, the state has become peaceful and things are good and can only get better. In a peaceful environment, you can uh, do your business at uh, ease. You don't feel uh, threatened or harassed. We can stay from morning to 12 o'clock, no arm robbery. For that state, Okowa is working as he brings peace. He really try. All said, peace building and security are arguably areas where the Okowa-led administration in Delta State has hugely succeeded. This success owes greatly to a consciousness about the ethnic multiplicity of the state and the all-important need to achieve balance and fairness. This is only the tea of the iceberg. More to come in 2019. Okoa the work with the sun.